Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hey, I was just um, brushing my teeth this morning and I was talking to my brother, um, talking about the difference between the peace that you thought you experienced in the world and the peace that you experienced coming into the truth. I was looking at an interview that I did with a sister named Marissa, which is on my YouTube channel, you can check that out. Um, but she was talking about how when she was in the world, you know, she didn't know that she didn't have peace, but now that she's in the truth, she can tell the difference. It's kind of like this. This is a regular toothbrush. This is a Oral B toothbrush, one of the best on the market. And when you brush it, this is all you know. You know, you're just brushing, 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 brushing. And then all of a sudden, somebody offers you a Sonic Care. Now, Sonic Care is motorized, so it makes a lot of noise, right? You brush and brush and And when you go from this to this, there's a huge difference. Now, when you were here, this is all you knew. This is what it's like to be in the world. This is all you know. And you brush and brush it, and then when you go here, which coming into the truth, it's like, wow, man. I mean, you just, man, man, it's like, woo. I mean, you feel like it is taking off all type of tartar and everything, like you at the dentist, right? And then you go back to this, let's say you go on a trip, because you forgot your sonic care, you had to use backup. You go back, it's like, man, I'm not brushing anymore. It's hard to go back. That is how I would describe the peace that you get when you come into this truth. Let me read something to you. This is what Jesus says. He says, the peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, I give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Philippians 4, 7. And that last one was uh, John 14, 27. But this is in Philippians 4, 7. He says, and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your heart and minds through Christ Jesus. So you guys know my story. I've, I've been through a, a horrific uh, situation. I lost my wife. I lost all eight children. I lost half of everything that I've ever worked for and some, uh, uh, you, you know that she's uh, getting uh, at least more than 50%. And it cost me a lot, I mean, to come, to be a part of this truth. It kind of remind me of another scripture. I'm gonna read this one. This is Matthew 13, 44. He says, again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure, unto treasure hid in the field. The which when the, a man had found, he hid, he, he hid it. And for the joy thereof, go, go and sell all that he had and buy that field. When I found this kingdom a year ago, a little bit over a year ago in July, I mean, I, I mean, I didn't know, I'm like, whoa, is this, is this legit? And as I kept looking into it, I said, man, this is the kingdom. Ever since I've been in this ministry uh, with Straightway Truth Ministry, uh, led by Pastor Dow, I've experienced a peace that I've never experienced when I was in Christianity. You just, but when I was in Christianity, I didn't know it because I never experienced it. And now that I've experienced this peace, to even the thought of going back to it, it's chaotic. And you don't know what you know. So I know a lot of you people who may have, who know of me, uh, know me personally, or labored with me when I was in the Christian world, May says, man, this guy had it all. He had a beautiful wife, he had beautiful children, he had money, health. Why would he all just throw it away to be a part of this cult? That's what they call it, a cult. It is a cult, I agree. It's a, it has its own culture, it's different from the world. But why would he do it? It's because of the peace that I experienced. It would just be like, if somebody, if you had a whole bunch of people, and this is the Christian world, brushing with this Oral B, we all been brushing with this Oral B, people have been doing it for 40 years, 20 years, and this is all we know, it's been passed down from one generation to the next generation to the next generation, and then all of a sudden, Yah introduced the Sonicare. Now, I'm not promoting Sonicare, but I do use the Sonicare. I should get something for this. But introduce the Sonicare. And then all of a sudden it's like, wow. And then people are in this world saying, how can you go there? That's a cult. No one can even afford this. This costs a lot of money. This is cheap. You can get this for little. This is expensive. But when you go here, you can't go back. It's like kind of like a Mac and a PC. Now this is me throwing that in there. It says once you go to a Mac, you can't go back. Once you go and experience the kingdom and being with his people, you can't go back. 
Now, people do because of uh, peer pressure, because of family pressure. That's why Jesus says, to be my disciples, you have to be willing to hate your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, your wife, your children. Yes, even your own life. You have to be willing to forsake it all to experience this, uh, this kingdom. So if you guys are in a situation where you have come into this truth or have discovered the truth about the kingdom of heaven, and his righteousness. If you are that person and you're going through it, I know that you are going through some tumultuous, turbulence time in your life. It is hard. I mean, you may even have thoughts of suicide. I had it, I had all those things. Just stand firm, persevere, hang in there. There is light at the end of the tunnel. You hang in there, you're, you, you're gonna feel peace even in time of sadness. Sometimes you may still be sad. I'm not like happy that I lost my family. I'm very, you know, it's it's a heartbreaking thing. But at the same time, the peace that passes all understanding, see, you can't even understand it. Like, I don't understand. How can you have peace after you just lost everything that you have ever worked for? That's why it's called a peace that passes all understanding. And so I want you to hang in there. Be encouraged. Shalom, shalom.